Good morning. I heard a story recently about a, a lady who was in her 80s. She had a, a lovely car. It was an old car. It was about 15 years old. The car was in sound condition mechanically, and as I said, it was a, a lovely car that she had. It's just she had had it a long time. But it still had very low miles on it because she only drove it to go to the grocery store, to go to church. She occasionally was taking a friend to a doctor. She just didn't have many places she needed to go. So the car had low miles. It was a nice car. It obviously was going to last her for the rest of her life. And then one day while she was out going to the grocery store, a person ran a stop sign, hit her broadside, totaled her car. Her insurance man said, don't worry about it. You have coverage. There'll be a settlement for you. We'll take care of everything. And because the good news was she was not injured at all. It was a good, safe car. So she was fine, but the car was now totaled. She then went into the office to go meet with the insurance man. And, and as I said, it's a 15-year-old car. And so he told her, here's how much I'm going to be able to give you for your car. Well, it wasn't near enough to replace that car and let her get another one. And it certainly wasn't enough to get her the kind of car that she just had. Then she said, that's not fair. That's not what this car was worth. And he said, well, I have a little blue book right here and it tells me what your car was worth. She then opened her purse and pulled out her Bible and said, and I have a black book here that says, thou shalt not steal. Well, I can tell you the Bible trumps the blue book every time. And in the end, she got a much larger settlement that enabled her to go buy a car. Because you see, sometimes what is legally right isn't morally right. How do you and I decide what we should be doing? I love the fact that it was John Wesley who talked about how everybody should be striving for Christian perfection. That doesn't mean we are perfect. No, you and I are human beings. We, in our own limited amount of understanding, we will always make mistakes. We cannot see into the future and we have limited understanding. But what he meant by Christian perfection was when everything you say and everything you do is motivated out of a love for God and a love for others. You know, if you and I would do that, if we would strive to live so that everything we do and everything we say is motivated out of a love for God and a love for others, I don't think we'd have to worry about what is legally right. We would be doing the right thing. Have a great day.